friend, what's up? I am Hannah Savage and it looks like you've stumbled into my YouTube channel and you may be wondering who I am, what I'm all about, what's that girl's story, why is she silly and serious all at the same time. So I thought I would pop in here in this video and share a little bit about my backstory and um, it kind of has to do with hats. So yeah, uh, just, just go with me, just go with me. So um, from a very young age, I heard the gospel of Jesus Christ when I was very young and um, immediately recognized that I needed a savior, um, that I wanted to follow Jesus for the rest of my life and I wanted to make him known and to share that love with others. Uh, so growing up in a Christian home and uh, into my adolescent years, um, I started getting involved, going on mission trips and things like that. However, um, somewhere along my journey, um, a very, very sneaky lie um, snuck in. And it, it was something like this. If you are a Christian leader in any kind of way, if you are looked at as a Christian example um, in the church, um, if you are going through something, if you're walking through some sort of a, di um, a difficulty, um, some sort of depression, any kind of personal struggle, um, you need to go through that struggle alone. You need to keep it together in front of people and you need to smile and you need to tell people that Jesus loves them. And the things that you're dealing with on the inside of your heart, you need to shove them down and you need to ignore them and hope that you can figure that, figure that out with Jesus and Jesus alone because you can't share that with other people. So that is the time of my life where I picked up a hat of being some sort of a Christian leader that came with a lie that I just needed to process what was going on inside of me alone. All right, so as I grew, um, I leave the nest <laughs> um, I go to college, um, I, I eventually um, I fall in love with my best friend, he's really awesome. Um, we've been married for 12 years now and um, he is incredible. Um, but so then when I got married I put on a new hat, I was a wifey hat. I put on a wife hat, so if you, yeah, there we go, wife hat. Okay, I gotta be a good wife. Be a good wife. I can do that. So then um, in my marriage, you know, I, um, you know, we, we thought it was a good idea to, um, you know, be able to pay our bills. And so um, as I continued to develop in my career, I became a corporate working woman. So I, I worked a full-time job. And um, so I, I put on a new hat uh, of a corporate, Corporate work women. I love corporate work women. And so I put on a new hat. Um, and so I did that. And so, um, and it was during the time that I was a corporate work woman, before I had kids, um, that, um, that I put on another hat. And actually, I don't know if it was a new hat or if it was a hat that kind of just showed up that was there all along. Um, but so I started realizing um, how much I hated myself. And so um, I became obsessed with my weight. I became obsessed with how I looked. And um, I found myself in a pit of disordered eating. Um, I would just binge and binge and binge and binge. Um, I would hide it and um, I, began, I began throwing up and um, I began lying to my husband about it. Now, we were youth pastors. Um, I was a worship leader. Um, we were elders in our church. Um, but because, you know, because I had this um, hat on, it told me that, um, that I needed to process what was going on in my heart alone. Um, I just needed to try to figure it out on my, by myself. And so um, I sat in this hat. This hat was extremely heavy. Um, came with a lot of weight and a lot of shame. Maybe you can relate. So um, as I keep going, um, maybe I'll do a separate video on that sometime. Um, I picked up um, a new hat, um, so I, I got through that, and uh, and I became a mom. So, um, you know, I debated whether or not a mom hat should be like pink or like army, but I think I think if you would ask me, then I would say pink. But 
I think now that I've been a mom for nine years, I would say army. So I became a mom. And so I'm going to tell you a story. So I have my um, baby girl and uh, we are in a meeting and I am an exhausted working woman because remember I still have my hat on. Um, and so I am in this meeting and this lady was talking and she said, um, today God wants to give you a new name. Well, I thought that sounded interesting. Um, and then I remembered a scripture in Revelation where it talks about actually God giving you a new name. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll follow this train. So she said, ask God what your old name is. And I said, okay, God, what is my old name? And he said, fear of not being enough. Yeah, kind of hit me um, because that was exactly where I was as a wife, a mom, a leader, a corporate woman, all of these things, I was living under the weight of a fear of not being enough. And, um, you know, along the way I picked up, uh, I traded out my corporate hat for a homeschool mom hat because God called me to do it. And I find here, I go back to this story where I said, God, what is my old name? And he said, fear of not being enough. And she said, ask God, what is your new name? And I said, God, what is my new name? And he said, beloved, can I tell you that um, this is what the love of God does to all of our hats. The love of God shows us what it means to be his beloved, to be a daughter. The words of Christ, the way that he's impacted my life, has changed me forever. We, it's a lie that we need to struggle alone. It's a lie that we need to keep it together um, and put up fronts and try to be a good Christian on the outside. God is so concerned with our hearts. And it's because of this reason I'm so passionate about talking about the love of the Father, uh, the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives, um, the living word of God and what it does on the inside of us. There's a scripture that says that um, he who the sun, sun sets free is free indeed. And I have experienced that and I'm still walking through it. Um, let's face it. I'm a mom. This right here, this dry shampoo is my best friend. Best friend. Um, I have a problem, an unmatching sock problem in my house. Okay. And, um, that's just really mild stuff. I have a kid with special needs. Um, there's all sorts of things that we've walked through and fires that we walk through, but this much, I know that what we do is significant and who we are is significant before we even do the things God's called us to do. That God's presence in our lives makes all the difference in the world. And God's presence gives us the courage to show up to our own lives to show up to the process that he's doing inside of us. The Bible says that he's working in us to will and to do his good pleasure. So he is with us. We can show up to what he's doing in us. We don't have to shove down what's going on in our hearts, whether it's a past hurt, whether it's um, just whatever it is. Maybe motherhood doesn't look like what you thought it would look like. Maybe marriage isn't what you thought it would look like. Maybe you're experiencing some sort of financial pressure you don't feel like you can handle. Whatever it is, he is Emmanuel, God with us, right in the middle of our mess. So that's why I have created this channel, because I believe as we pour into our homes, we do it with Christ at the center. That's why um, the, the, the phrase over my website is the presence centered home, because his presence makes the difference. He said, I will never, ever leave you. Okay, that right there is enough to shift everything about the possibilities of our life and to give us the courage to dream the dreams of God over our lives, over our families, and um, know that he's going to finish the good work he started in us. So if this resonates with you, I hope you'll stick around. Consider subscribing um, and signing up for notifications so it lets you know when new videos come out. Uh, but I'm glad you're here and you took a listen and um, I look forward to connecting with you soon. Bye.